Hello everyone, I'm the Black Mamba and today I'm going to be showing you um, the best settings to use with MSI Afterburner so as to create high definition gameplay videos um, and without any FPS drop uh, which means without lag um, I am making this video uh, for a cool guy who, uh, whom I cooperate with in our channel called uh, Hedro Tales um, because he needed some help using this program and utilizing it to maximum performance uh, but anyone who needs help with the program can watch this video um, so, let's get down to it. Let's open our program. MSI Afterburner. It open here in the tray. Okay, settings. General. You don't need to change anything. Pan. Nothing here either. Monitoring. No. On screen display. Keep these two boxes unchecked because you don't want on screen display to show on your captured uh, videos and screenshots. Screen capture, I don't uh, screen capture, so I don't need to change anything here, but you can go ahead and mess with the settings here, to your liking. Now video capture, this is the important um, tab we need to change. Video capture, this is the hotkey um, you will need to press in order to start capturing your video. Um, you can uh, set whatever you like here. I use a fade. Video format. Um, I use MP and MGPG compression. I'm sorry. Um, this is the best actually. Don't use uncompressed because the file will be too big and the quality not so good. This is the perfect one. I mean the optimum. Um, 100% quality, yes, it's the optimum level we want. Now frame size. Now here, you need to know the aspect ratio of your monitor and the resolution, the maximum resolution that it accepts. Um, for me, I have a 1440 by a 900 uh, resolution screen. So my vertical pixels are 900 and my aspect ratio is 16 um, to 10 so I use this one um, most screens nowadays have um, this 16 to 9 for 720p and 16 to 9 for 1080p well according to your resolution you have 1280x 720 you will choose this one if you have a 1920x um, um, 1080 yeah I'm sorry for the mistake uh, 1080p um, you will use the setting for me it's 900p so I use this one according to your uh, screen resolution yeah. okay frame rate now this uh, most people uh, keep this in 30 fps uh, yeah yeah uh, 30 fps ok um, but I'm going to put it uh, all the way up to 60 fps because let's be honest here ok 30 fps is good enough but 60 fps is yeah it's optimum in terms of quality but if you have a lower end computer you can perfectly set it to 30 fps it won't make much of a difference but yeah I'm a perfectionist so I set it to 60 fps now frame limit disabled yes um, videos folder you can uh, put whatever you want here Multi-threaded optimization, I leave it to automatic. Crop video dimensions to make it multiples of 16, no, you don't want this. Enable gamma correction, you do want this enabled. 
because um, uh, this program can sometimes mess up with your color um, so the recorded video might have some imperfections and need color co correction so this improves the color by a lot um, enable MGPG, uh, MJPG decoder um, this is used for if you have uh, a rendering software which does not recognize um, the MPGH compression uh, MJPG compression, I'm sorry um, but no, I have uh, Sony Vegas Pro 12 and I've never had any problems with uh, the videos I record with MSI Afterburner so I keep it unchecked now audio source number one it's Wasapi playback device I leave this to auto select it will, it will obviously select my speakers um, audio source number two you need to set this to direct sound capture device and this to auto select so that it you, it utilizes your microphone. If you don't send a, if you don't set an audio source, uh, a second audio source, then your voice will not be heard in the video. Um, so if you set it like that, um, you can hear the game sound as well as your voice. Down makes multi-channel multi audio to stereo. I'm not sure what this does, but I keep it checked by default. Mix multiple audio tracks. You want this unchecked because sometimes um, in the final video, in the recorded video, um, when you uh, actually preview it, when you play it, you might. Uh, actually notice that your voice is not that loud compared to the game sound so um, you can render it in uh, Sony Vegas Pro 12 um, if they are separate audio tracks I mean if the game uh, music and your voice are separate audio tracks then uh, you can lower the volume of the game in Sony Vegas Pro or another rendering software and increase the volume of uh, your own voice so that it can be heard more clearly and more loudly so you always want this unchecked it's very important okay let's move on profiles no user interface no well we're basically done Okay guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video, um, I hope I have helped uh, many of you uh, record uh, your videos with optimum quality and no lag, um, I really hope I have, um, and if that is the case, leave a, leave a like button, uh, leave a like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm messing up because this is my first commentary. Uh, so I do apologize for that. Okay. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video.